Okay. So, we need to go put our candles on the cake, and that's this way. Oh, jeez, there's a ghost. <laughs> run, Eileen, run! And a weird sounding wall. I don't get that part. Pretty damn sinister sounding ghost. Come on, Eileen, you can do it. His sword. Hey, a cat. Oh, a stuffed cat. What else we got here? Birthday cake. Let's put the candles in it. I wonder if they're holy candles. Shall we cut the cake? The axe. Isn't that how it's done? Damn, those candles are still burning, too. They didn't even get shorter or anything. Some damn long burning candles. Oh, great. More sniffer dogs. I hate these. They're my least favorite enemy. Well, that one just laid down and let us <laughs> wail on them, but they normally don't do that, of course. Yeah, they're both doing that. What the hell? Oh, that made it a lot easier. Got more up here though. Maybe these two will want revenge. Fallen comrades or something. Better not bite me through the railing again. What is Eileen doing back there with her arm? Pitching it or something? Just. Dude, there's a barrier there. You can't. Come on. Come around the corner. Look right there. Yeah. I don't want to waste the valuable health fighting them. There we go. Hopefully the other one doesn't attack me while I'm doing it. Uh oh. He's in line with the stairs now. Somehow I magically didn't hit Eileen though. That was amazing. No! Oh, I'm so sorry. I never should have clicked no. That was an accident, though. I kept a uh, spirit medallion instead of putting it back, because... Just in case. Otherwise, I don't want those hauntings to, like, kill me in the house, because they get pretty serious. And they were taking a bunch of health. Another holy candle. Oh, sorry. Revolver bullets. Also a good thing. <gasps> Shut up and get out of the way. What do we got down here? Oh, another sniffer dog. How many of these things are there? That one's like really distracted or something. There's a point in coming back here. I wonder if that hole's still there. So I guess it'll answer my curiosity. Curiosity. Yeah. Crap. <clears throat> my waste of my good swing. Missing. Now he's gonna like tear my leg off. <laughs> I'm having a lot better luck fighting these now. It is still there. Ooh. I'm scared. Why are you scared? Calm down. I don't know the golf club. <sighs> Driver. Cool. We'll add it to our collection back home. The phone can always watch it.
I'm always watching you. Mm -hmm. Except for when we leave the room. And go to other worlds and stuff. Alright, let's put back candle, bullets, that. Alright, that should be good. We need the cat. Of course, for our world, or this world, whatever this is. Return to building world. Building world 2.0. Head back down to the pet store, which is like connected right to the sporting goods store, if I remember correctly. Or if not, it might not have been directly connected. It was really close, though, wasn't it? That always freaks me out. I think it's going to be like a cutscene or something. But you know who's left us alone for a good part of this world is uh, Richard. I probably just like totally jinked myself. No, I like uh, we saw him in the beginning area, that one room, and then once we got off the elevator again, but never again. It's kind of weird. I guess we could take the sword out of this guy now, if we really want to. Hmm. Hmm. Considering the circumstances, I guess we're doing pretty good, huh? Did you say that before? Yes, we are. We are doing pretty good. We're awesome. Crap. There's a ghost in here, that's right. Try and go fast, Eileen. Step on these things for you. the ghost who didn't see him. You know, you could probably run faster if you weren't in those freaking heels. I never understood heels. Maybe that's part of being a guy? I don't know. Okay. So we came in through there. So let's try this door now. Jeez. I hear like tons of cats and dogs or something. You hear that? Barking and meowing. <laughs> I was like, come on, Eileen. Pet stores filled with ghost animals. And an, and an actual ghost. Awesome. I think there's some items in here. Damn it. Get away from me. Ha! Pistol bullets. Nutrition drink. Put the cat in the cage. Damn it. We could if the ghost was out of the damn way. Can't we? Looks like an empty cage to me. There we go. And hear the sound of a clock from somewhere? Damn, we have good hearing. Considering all the, like, barking and meowing and shit. Alright, Eileen, come over here. <laughs> it's time to leave. Oh, now I hear the clock. That's creepy. Does that mean the time is upon us or something? Uh oh. Here's 
hear another clock. I don't remember this room before. This is one thing that Eileen is pretty good with. Hummers. Hmm. Interesting. Upside down clock. Oh, this whole room is like MC Escher style. <laughs> There's like cubicles or something upside down. Clocks and stairs that go every which way. Are we on the ceiling? Oops. That's weird. Hold on, I think I missed something back here. But the store is definitely like... Huh. I think I missed reading something back here. Yeah, this. According to the Asheville police, on an approximately 8.30 in the evening, witnesses near the pet store Garland's reported the sound of multiple gunshots, possibly from an automatic weapon. By the time the police arrived, the perpetrator had already fled the shop owner. Steve Garland was found dead with a probable machine gun, submachine gun gunshot wound to the head. All the store's animals were brutally slaughtered, and the store left in extreme disarray. In addition, inside sources say that Garland's heart had been removed, and on his back five numbers were carved. And there's a little audio, <laughs> I guess, recreation of that event. Song. Almost sounds exactly like that clock. What is that? Oh, uh, it's just a light. Yeah, <gasps> it's definitely like the ceiling or something. Oh, it's a door. So I think we have a bunch of ghosts in here. I don't think any of these doors work, by the way. I think they just kind of waste your time. I feel like everywhere, too. Looks like we have Jasper. I'm sure Cynthia would be here if she wasn't eternally pinned. In the second subway world or whatever. It's really just there to kind of tempt you. This is the one door you can go through. Oh, shit. I got a lot of gum heads. That's good. Ooh, and that one has a golf club. Wow, and they just get right back up. Look at that creepy ass face. Oh, damn. Okay, maybe these guys aren't going to be dealt with so easily. And some sniffers. I wish they'd fight each other. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Charge that. Sniffer dog, you, get, you stay out of this. No, he didn't stay out of it. Alright, we're just gonna try and book it past these. Help drink. Come on. Come on, Eileen. Follow us. Oh shit. Ah! R Richard, I guess I'm going back in here with the gum heads. And I need to get Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Where are you? Oh shit. Oh shit. 
she's not even in that room. Where did I leave her? I probably left her in here. Yeah, I can hear her walking. Hey, there she is. Alright, come on, Eileen. We have to go and fight a bunch of gumheads. Or not fight them, rather. I'm gonna just run. She can find her way through that mess. They should be interested in me. Oh, what the hell? Damn. Good job, Eileen. I am so proud of you. How did you do that? Okay. This is the room Richard started appearing in, so I guess we should expect him in here. Yep, there he is. He's coming out of a wall. Just... The teleportation effect is pretty creepy. I can tell you that much. Hey, leave her alone. Dude, damn it. Come on. Come on. Eileen. Shit, man. It's unlocked. It's... Fuck! Stop <laughs> with your crowbar shit. Oh god, and we got that ghost up top. Shit. The shovel ghost guy. Come on, Eileen. Come on. kind of backtracking our steps to get down to that stupid uh, door that we couldn't leave Eileen. Why don't we put her in a wheelchair and like drive her around? That'd be faster. <laughs> Some gum heads. Are they the hard ones? I bet they are. I'm not seeing him yet. What the fuck? Did she just get jumped? She did. Leave her alone. Damn it, I missed. You mad, bro? So frustrated. Shit. Get out of the way. There we go. So, you, if I had this stun gun out, like, I should in the business world, or building world. Then I could easily take care of those, because you just, you know, zap them, step on them. Ah. Fucker. Okay. I think we're almost there, right? Should be getting close. Another stupid gun. Where do they keep coming from. Yeah. Almost looked like she was running for the door. Don't leave us, Eileen. Is this really what happened to the city? Or are we just going insane? Well, hmm. I don't think we're going insane because the police radios and stuff are going off actually talking about those people's deaths. I think this is kind of like the not real world. And if we die here, we die out there. Kind of like the Matrix. go down this long staircase so we can go out and go down another long staircase. Must be something creepy about stairs. I personally don't find them that creepy, just annoying. Maybe in Japan they're scary. Oh, that's an enemy. I thought that was something I could pick up. 
I never used that, uh, or maybe I did use the Saint Medallion. Did I? I don't remember using it. Maybe I put it back. Where do we stand to use a health drink? Now, wait, no. Alright, now can we go through? <laughs> Man, that's how I feel, Henry. Jeez. <sighs> oh, shit. I forgot about this. Okay, so, just really quick, this is a boss battle. Kind of a mini boss battle, I guess. There's not really a lot of these <laughs> in the game. And I really wish I had saved right before this in the uh, bar. Damn it. Oh well. So. Hmm. Well, what I have like 10 bullets or something? And. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, anyways, what's going to happen is this our some things that fall down and they're going to be wallmen and they're a different kind of wallmen though and there's like a bunch of mimics so a bunch of fake ones um if we hit the real one it'll hit all of them or like they'll they'll all react if we hit a uh fake one then it will just be that one um getting hurt so I don't know, I mean... Fuck, <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Without, like, any ammo and any... And they hurt us and Eileen. And it's just all sorts of wonderful. So... Let's go this way. I want to see. Is that one real? Is that one real? No. Is that one? No. So neither of those two. And obviously we can't go out the door. To reach the deepest part, you must defeat the one truth. Do so and the door will open. Remember, they're descending to fight the one truth. Not that one. Oh, wait, I actually do have a good amount of ammo. That's okay. Shit, Eileen, look out. What the fuck? Damn it! <laughs> Did we try this one right here? I wish we had a shotgun. This would be like a perfect thing for a shotgun. Not that one. Okay. This one. No. My lead's getting like. Oh shit! You okay there? Alright. <laughs> Just stay there, maybe you'll be fine. I think that's not very good that she's in that state. It's not this one either, damn it. Gotta be one of these ones. No? That one. There we go. It's this one. So we just want to keep wailing on this one. <laughs> Got 
they shoot Eileen? She's like, can you see the possession? She's like super bloody and stuff. I don't know if you can really see it. This is kind of a shitty camera angle. Not doing so well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eileen. I'm failing. It's... Don't stay. Oh shit, I died. Damn it. <laughs> I guess we saw that coming. Oh, Eileen, you can you can take them on, right? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, let's try that again and hope that it doesn't put us too far back. Come on, continue. Oh, <laughs> it just puts us right back into the fight. Okay, I wonder if it's the same one again. Probably not. Might as well try, right? Nope. No. So I might have to do a load. Damn it. If I want to, uh... Oh, shit. If I want to actually get better equipped for this fight, I have to do a load. Try it this one last time. Just this one. I guess there's a way you could command Eileen to stay in a particular place. As if I didn't hate this stupid enemy enough. There we go. It's this one. Ah. Shit. That one. Ah. Shit. <laughs> As I like axe, I leave. Can while it stays down. And of course, Eileen's like, let me walk in front of your axe, guy. Alright, pistol time. Ah, oh, such a tease. did it. I think Eileen didn't get too hurt. She's not as bloody as she looked the last time. Wait, that's the wrong door. Hmm. Oh, that just proves I guess you can do that with a melee weapon and a uh, health drink. Best to use the me the melee weapon. Help me! It's him. He's coming in. What? This must be what hell is like. Oh shit! Is she possessed? I think she's damn close or something. Where's mommy? Ah oh, fuck! <laughs> this is not looking good. I don't know how to uh, help. Ooh. 
apparently can't like go at all far from her. Yeah, she can actually kind of run now. She definitely possessed them. Or damn close. Shit. <laughs> I'll just put like all my saint medallions on her. How about that? How, about, how come we haven't gotten to like the the part where the uh, hole is? Don't we usually get to that by now? Hmm. Come on. Ah, there we go. Finally. Like, this one's the longest stairway ever. Alright, stay right there. Don't become too possessed. 